What's going on guys? King Raven here coming at you with another video today. So today I want to talk about two excellent Vosteed knives. The Vosteed Corsair and the Vosteed Raccoon, but a specific variation of the Raccoon. We'll get more into that in just a minute. Let's check out what I'm carrying today. So my today's knife, I'm carrying the Ferrum Forge Archbishop 3.0. Love this. Bronze Titanium, 20 CV blade, absolute minimum hardware, just to pivot on this side. Frame lock, only one back screw back here, and then of course your screws for your pocket clip. Outstanding design, love the Archbishop 3.0. My firearm, I always carry and everything, even around the house, I've got my main concealed carry. This is the Canic Mete MC9 and this is in the Muddy River Tacticals holster. I've got it with the Mechanic Red Dot. That's Canic's own Red Dot. Of course, I carry it with the 15 round mag in there. So I've got 15 plus one in the chamber and the 12 rounder is actually my backup. So I love the Canic Mete MC9. Check out my updated concealed carry firearm video. Um, and you'll be able to find out more about that gun if you're interested. Before we get into today's video, please, it really does help my channel. Y'all give me a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and comment and everything. I'm a small channel, just starting to grow my channel and everything, and it's really helpful when y'all give like, subscribe, share, and do all those things. So let's flip this camera around and get into today's video of these two Vosti knives. Okay guys, from the kitchen table today, let's check out these two Vosti knives. This right here is the Vosteed Corsair. This particular version is in uh, black micarta and nitro V steel. I know the handles come in several different uh, colors and I believe a couple of materials, but uh, the nitro V, I believe, is the only steel that you can get the Corsair in. I love Nitro V Steel, but this is a crossbar lock knife, okay? Love the Corsair. Now, this is the Raccoon, okay? Now, the Raccoon is available in the crossbar lock or the button lock. Today, we're going to be talking about the crossbar lock Raccoon because I'm going to specifically compare it to the Corsair. Now... The Raccoon has a lot more variations. First thing, this is the first uh, Raccoon style. This has the drop point blade. They just came out with what they're calling like a cleaver style blade. It's like very worn clear cleaver style blade. Uh, and of course, you know, you can get that butt lock crossbar. And the Raccoon has lots of different scales options. This happens to be a White Mountain Knives exclusive. This is uh, aluminum handles in the frag pattern. And the blue, the, the, I know they have the aluminum handles in the black, and uh, I believe they have it in frag and smooth. I'm not sure about the smooth, but I know they have it in the black frag and the blue frag, okay, and White Mountain Knives. Y'all go check out White Mountain Knives. Use the discount code SHIELD ARMS and you'll get 10% off and of course it's free shipping as well. So let's talk about specifically the crossbar lock drop point raccoon uh, versus the Corsair. Okay so if we line these up and everything and we line them up butt to butt now, the angle might be a little bit off on the camera and everything, but uh, they are very similar in length, okay? So, the length of them is 
very similar. The blade length is very similar. Now, the cutting edge, you are going to get a little bit more cutting edge with the Corsair compared to the Raccoon because the Raccoon has the finger tool. The Corsair doesn't, it's got this little flat so you can kind of chunk up, but if you do and you slip at all, you're going right there at that corner. So it's really more of a holding back here where the Raccoon, that is a very generous troll that you can choke up all day long. No need to worry about uh, poking that corner unless you got like sausage fingers, okay? But in any choke up grip, regular grip and everything, you're fine on the Raccoon. So if it's a knife that you like to choke up, and everything, the Raccoon is going to be one that you're going to favor. If you want the added benefit of basically the same length blade, but a little bit longer cutting edge to maximize the cutting edge, then the Corsair is going to be. Now, also the height, the, the, the tallness and everything of these knives, the Corsair is a uh, narrower as far as this way in handle and in blade where the raccoon is definitely a little bit taller prouder in both the blade as well as the handle on the raccoon I forgot to mention and everything I said aluminum handles but this steel is 14 c 28 n also an excellent steel. You cannot go wrong with 14C28N or Nitro V, in my opinion. These are both excellent steels, good to go. So, before we get into some comparisons as far as uh, size, uh, let's get a weight on each of these individuals. Now, remember, we are talking about the Raccoon in the aluminum scale. They come in micarta, G10, the aluminum. So the weight is going to vary on, depending on which particular knife you have of the raccoon. So let's get up the scales here. Let's check it out. Let's see if I can get it at the right angle for you ought to be able to see good. Okay, first up, the Corsair. Let's zero this out. Zero. We are looking at 2.96 ounces, which this right here is uh, over a three inch blade. This is a three point, I want to say 3.3 uh, inch blade, something like that. And it, that is well more than uh, the great ratios. You know, usually people say an ounce an inch and everything. So you are definitely coming under that ounce an inch mark and everything with the Corsair. That's 2.93. Now the Raccoon, basically the same blade length. This one is coming at 3.74. And that's because this one is the aluminum handle one. So that is, they are full aluminum handles on there. So if you get the Micarta or the G10, of course you're going to have uh, a lighter weight than the aluminum itself. Okay, so let's set these back out here. Let's do some, I miss that flip. It's hard to do under the camera at this angle. Remember, I'm in a wheelchair, guys, so uh, getting up close to tables like this, my uh, nubs start bumping, so I'm having to do more of a stretch to get into the right angle. So, let's compare it. Let's see here. Let's compare these to the what I was carrying today, the Fair and Forge Arch Bishop 3.0. Uh, another comparison would be, let's move that so it can be seen a little bit easier, would be the Civivi Vision FG. 
okay? And let's compare it. Now, this one is a very good size comparison, in my opinion. This is the Farron Ford Stinger. So the Stinger is right there in the same handle and blade length as the Raccoon. Maybe a tad smaller, but very similar as far as the length and cutting edge. You're going to get the chul like you would the Raccoon, but if you don't like the crossbar locks and you want a liner lock, the Fairport Stinger might be a way to go for you. It's going to be very similar in size. But I think two of the best comparisons with these two knives is let's compare these to the Benchmade Bug Out and the Hogue Deca. Now, the Hogue Deca, you can get in a drop point. I do not own the drop point. I own the Warm Cliff uh, version of the Deca, but very similar blade length to the drop point. So you're going to get overall size, you're going to get very similar between these two. So this right here is what I'm calling like, let's do a little crossbar lock shootout. Because we've got probably the crossbar lock that everybody compares any crossbar lock to is the Benchmade Bug Out. I'm not a huge fan of the bug out. I have it for size comparison. I do not like these scales. I am looking at possibly upgrading these to like a titanium or a original goat or something like that. Uh, more of a aluminum or titanium scales. We'll see what I end up doing with this. But this right now is my murdered out bug out. Okay, so it's all blacked out. Uh, and it is super lightweight, I have to admit. It, this knife is lighter than either one of these knives, okay? So if lightweight is the top thing on your comparison, then of course the bug out's going to win. Me, the none of these are heavy knives. All these are super carryable knives. I carry big knives and everything all the time, so the weight doesn't bother me at all, especially being in a wheelchair, because wheelchair supports and everything, so I don't have to worry about weight of pocket stuff at all and everything, so. But if you are concerned about weight and everything, bug out is your choice, but these are all right there in the same type category as far as weight. This one's just gonna be a little bit lighter. Now, I am a huge fan of the Hogue Deca. I think the Deca with its uh, G10 scales or g Mascus scales, um, like this one right here, is just so much more solid feeling in the hand. Now, this is the first version of the Deca with multiple body screws. I know they've got a version two that's got a lot less body screws. So I am comparing it with the original Deca. I have not held the uh, new Deca yet. So with these wall steed and everything compared to these, I do not think you can go wrong with any of these wall steeds and everything. If you are in a lesser budget category, then the Deca or the Benchmade, because the Benchmade is most definitely the most expensive out of these three, followed by the Deca, and then the Raccoon and the Corsair are going to be very similar and everything. This is right around the 70 something dollar mark, and depending on what version of this you get, ranges from like the 60 to 70 ish dollar mark. If you use my discount code of White Mountain Knives for these, or any knives and everything, you're going to save yourself 10%, make it a little bit more affordable for you. But if you are looking for affordable crossbar lock knives with great action, okay, 
the action on these ball steeds are just as good as any of these crossbar lock knives, whether it be the Hogue, whether it be the Benchmade, they're great, okay? So the action, the feel, the fit and finish, I zoom in and everything like that, bring it a little closer if you can see. I mean, these are very well, this has nested liners in it, where this doesn't actually have nested liners because the actual uh, handles mill themselves are aluminum. So, but great pocket clips, good deep carry pocket clips on both of these knives. So you're not going to have much out of the pocket. Now, I actually prefer a little bit more out of the pocket a lot of times because uh, sitting down in a wheelchair gives you a little bit more to grab onto, but I don't have a problem with any of these. My, this is my favorite pocket clip of all of these four because I've got this amount that I can grab while I'm still sitting down. So. Uh, uh, I do prefer not such a deep carry, but that's just a personal preference. I know most people are going to prefer the deep carry. Now, if you are a lefty, crossbar locks are great for lefties because the lock is ambidextrous. It's the same on both sides. On the raccoon, you've got thumb studs on both sides. The raccoon, you've got a filler tab, but you can flip the pocket clip to either side so the raccoon is definitely going to be lefty friendly completely ambidextrous the corsair the corsair doesn't have a filler tab but it is milled out to flip the pocket clip to either side so the corsair if you're a lefty completely ambidextrous thumbs to both sides crossbar lock accessible to both sides bitch made bug out it's ambidextrous as well. You can mount it on either side. And also, the Hogue Deca has the filler tab, and you can mount it. So, the, all four of these knives are going to be completely ambidextrous. Let's set those out of the way, okay? We'll go back to the Corsair. Great, nice, thin, slicey blade. Let's see if I can get that at a good angle. Nitro V Steel. Just don't know if you can tell exactly how thin this gets down to. And the Raccoon as well. It's a little taller. So I think it actually comes down to a little bit better edge. But it's close, guys. These things are very, very comparable. So, if you like a little bit taller knife, and one that you can choke up, the Raccoon Crossbar Lock by Vossi is for you. Or you might like another variation of one of the Raccoons. If you want a little bit slimmer knife this way, and you don't care if it's got a choke up position, you want a little bit more cutting edge, the Corsair. But these two Vossi knives are excellent. So. If you are in the market for a budget crossbar lock that's completely ambidextrous or not, and you really can't uh, spend for the bug out or the whole deca or anything like that, check these out. And even if you can't, I still think these are excellent value for your money. Uh, Vosteed is very impressive. I've got several Vosteed. I'll do a Vosteed video collection uh, here coming up. But that's going to be it, guys. Check out these two knives, the Vosteed Raccoon and the Vosteed Corsair. They are awesome crossbar lock knives. Let's flip this camera around and wrap up this video. So, guys, what did you think about the Vosteed Corsair and the crossbar lock Raccoon? Excellent knives. I've been very impressed with Vosteed. I'm going to do a Vosteed collection video. Depending on when you're watching this and everything, uh, they just released the Morel, so I'm waiting for that to come in, and I'll do a video about that. And I'll show my whole Vosteed collection as well. So uh, I've been real impressed with Vosteed. 
excellent knives, excellent quality. I love their designs and very good prices and everything. So y'all check out White Mountain Knives. Use my code SHIELDARMS. You'll get 10% off, free shipping, all that stuff. Love White Mountain Knives. Or you can check out Vosfeed's website. Excellent knives. I'll do some links below in there. Y'all, please give me a like. Subscribe. Comment. Share. All that stuff really does help grow my channel and everything. It allows me to bring more content to y'all. Uh, you know, being fully disabled and everything like that. Uh, uh, I'm limited on what I can bring. So it really helps if I get more interest and uh, traction on my channel. So if y'all do me that favor, I really appreciate it. I'm going to link uh, a video here as well as put a subscribe button. Y'all just hit that button and it'll subscribe you automatically. I'm King Raven. Y'all be safe out there. And I'll catch you in the next video.